what we've got here is a direct access uh, test lab. And what we've built is a corporate network uh, using three machines, and then simulated the internet on a separate machine, and a client which will connect to the corporate network. We've also separated the networking, so we've got three hubs. This one is simulating the uh, internet, this one is simulating the corporate network, and this one will eventually, in the next phase of this, simulate the home network. So what we have here is a domain controller. So this is configured with Windows Server 2008 Release 2. Um, and this acts as an Active Directory and DNS and DHCP server. We've got an app server, and this is a typical app server, which could be SharePoint. Um, what we're running on here is uh, IIS 7 um, with just a normal web page running. And this is our direct access server, which is on the um, corporate network. But it also bridges to what we have simulated as an uh, internet. And on the internet, we're running our own DNS um, server. And um, we can connect from we're bridging the internet on the air and the corporate network. And lastly, we have the client computer, which um, is a Windows 7 um, computer. And this has been joined to the corporate domain. And what we're going to prove is that when we on the corporate domain, we can access content on this app server. And when we connect to the internet, we can access that same content uh, using our same credentials, using direct access. All right, so what we have here is a Windows 7 Ultimate Client. And uh, this machine is connected to the corporate domain. What I'm going to do is show you the IP address that is set up on this machine. And as you can see, it's a 10.0.0.100, which is gained from the DHCP server um, running on the domain controller, uh, DC1. And I can access my corporate internet over here. And I can also access my corporate shares over here, and I can open this shared file on the server. All right, now I'm connecting the client computer to the internet. Yep. And uh, this should now get an IP address from the internet. I'll just wait for that to get that. I'll bring up the command prompt. Run ipconfig. And as you can see now, it's got an IP4 address, 131.107.0.100. And this address is coming directly from the internet. So this is as if you've connected your PC straight onto the internet. Um, now I will try and access those same resources. I'm connecting to the app server, so connecting to IIS 7, running on the corporate domain, and that works. And I will connect to the share. And as you can see, I can access the share, and I'll double-click on the example file, and 